Hot damn guys, we're already at 123 subscribers. Next stop's 250. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the videos, comment, uh, and enjoy the openings, because that's what we do here. Shout out to Jay from Fresh Off The Press. Billy Bob is here to feed these Yu-Gi-Oh box openings. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. Um, Fresh Off The Press is a Market Watch channel that I love. The community is fantastic. And uh, I got this token in uh, this past week. And so presiding over uh, today's opening is going to be Billy Bob. And uh, as you can see, Billy Bob is a non-legendary human. It's a powerful engine of continuous, oh, bad purchases. Uh, virtually brainless, very few have learned anything from this autonomous creature and lived to tell the tale. Yes, yeah, so Billy Bob's are the people in the market that have obviously way too much money on their hands. And you'll see in the in the purchase history that there will be like 15, 20 cent, 50 cent cards. And it'd be like five sales of 50, 50, 50, 50 cents. And then you'll see one for like 5.99 and 3.99 shipping. And you're like, but Billy, but Billy, look, you could have had, you could have had these cards at 50 cents. But no, for whatever reason, I swear it's money laundering. But also this week, uh, we got a, from a giveaway, we got a QCR Firewall Dragon. Uh, we got an upgrade for our Bestial Serenir in the branded deck. He gets the beautiful prismatic upgrade. We also got uh, two more pieces of the Korean Exodia set. Thank you. Uh, I believe this came from... Oh no, it was the same... I think it was the same person I got the uh, Firewall Dragon from. But I just need one more arm in the head and I will have a full set of Korean Exodia. Um, Trix being the uh, awesome man that he is on whatnot, we were just hanging out chatting one day and uh, he decided to just uh, give me this Dark Magician Girl uh, from the tins. <clears throat> it is in, in some uh, rough shape. Apparently it's been in his drawer for years, but uh, he just wanted to give it away along with for uh, any of the DBZ fans out there, including Jay. Uh, holla if you know if this is worth anything, Jay. Um, but yeah, he also gave me this one. And we went on a nice run on Trix's uh, Wall of Rip Till You Hits. 14 sets in the, um, in the Wall of Packs. And we wound up with this beautiful QCR uh, Genroku. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, the binder sure is getting shiny. And then, my love and I were at, uh, not press play, uh, Rogue's Gallery in Round Rock. And while we were checking out, I saw this uh, Crystal Edition uh, dice set. And while I love Dungeons and Dragons, I also have quite the collection of dice. And we are going to see what we can get out of this. Because, you know, you can just never have enough die. For all my dice goblins all out there, this is for you guys. Okay. We got a pretty, pretty red dice bag. Red is not my favorite color, but we'll take it. Ooh. I have no idea what these are. Which set these are. But they got a beautiful, like, bronze and purple. And we get a... Magic Initiate Warlock. Ah, you know, I do love me some Warlocks. 
beautiful okay okay i'm gonna have to look up and see which set these are because they do have a qr code to um find out if you got a common rare uncommon or legendary set of dice so i will definitely put that in the um probably up here man those are pretty i can't help it i can't i can't Oh, that's that's just beautiful. They roll very nicely. And also, I learned when I purchased that that the D and D ampersand logo is also trademarked. Go figure. <clears throat> Now we have yet to pull a QCR out of this ourselves. While I do have a Disabler and now again Roku, I still have yet to pull one from a box personally. So let's see what we can get today. I have another box that's in transit supposedly. It says something about weather delays, flooding and all that, but I got on the 17th, and, um, well, if it doesn't get here soon, I'm going to have to see if I can get my money back for that. But, uh, yeah, let's get a, uh, let's hope we can get a QCR Millennium Onk or, you know, the most expensive card in the set. Ooh, did I do that? Mm. All right, now I have to be careful when I... Use that uh, knife. We yeah. we got DPH Gendamore, Mushroom, Rusia, Aerial Eater, and we can just pull the uh, you know the first pack, the most expensive can card in the entire uh, well. The most expensive secret rare in the set, I believe it should be. And uh, I just cut into the pack. So we're going to take a really good look into this card. Make sure we have no issues. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Something there, but that's not... I have to think. But wow. Okay, oh wow. You know what? That's insane. First pack, secret, engraver. Already, well, that pays for the box by itself. And you know what? We're just gonna put that bad boy right here. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Yo, brother. You get to hang out with the engraver today. Well, wow. Okay, that... What a way to start the box. Can we get a QCR in the same box? Now, I mean, if this is how we're starting, man, what a, what a, what a way to start the day before I go to work. Uh, service puppet play, Adulce dessert, queen of prayers, lacrima, and mimigool maker. And remember guys, I also do have a TCG player shop. Link in the description. So if you see any of these cards like so, and you are looking for them at a decent market price, check out my shop, Hatchet Gaming on TCG Player. All right. Dipsy Fiend. Ragnarika Celine Snapper. Rogue Doll. Rouge Doll, uh, Millennium Treasures, and Exod Fires of Rage. Can we get a second engraver in the same box or a Mulcharmy Perulia? That would also be really nice. Uh, Interdimensional Matter Forwarder, 
to press pard. Uh, synced. Meteoroa. And for the first ultra of the box, we have Singenjin Wakes from Millennium. Omi with all of the Millennium items. Bet and Bat. Sequence. Uh, Fiend Reflection. Millennium Moon. And Magicaloidal Soul. Dora Dora. Cute little dragon. Gimmick Puppet Cattle Scream. Uh, nomenclature Strikes. Salvation. Sleepy. And Mimigool Room. Which is what I got my second day token uh, background as. And if you haven't seen that, check out my nets day one and day two. And uh, look at the fun tokens I got made of myself. A lot of fun. And also, if you're new here, we have over 50 videos for you to watch. Check them out if you like dopamine mining and beautiful rare shiny cards. We've pulled stuff like SP Little Knights bonfires um yeah have fun uh watch everything and let me know what some of your favorite cards are uh woes of the white forest dipsy fiend drytron Indemore, and a wicked butterfly Ready. mini meow caroons Press board, Puppet Play, Salvation, Millennium Moon, and Centurion Atri. Light in Sublimation, Zapper Shrimp, and a few more combos. Gindamur, Depress Pard. Dessert, Drytron, and Fiendsmith in Paradise. Uh, somebody said that Fiendsmith, uh, Fiendsmith's archetype was supposed to be from like Dante's Inferno or something like that, or Devil May Cry. And you know what? As a Devil May Cry fan, and somebody who's read Dante's Inferno, I just, I just don't see it. They look more like Guilty Gear fighters. But Rustal, Cattle Screen, Rusia, Aerial Eater, and Silo Hat Trick. I'm telling you, man, Illusion Archetype, Magic Hats, Silo Hat Trick. It's, it's, I'm, I might have to make it. Alright, Fiend Reflection of the Millennium, Emblema, Mushroom, Nomenclature Strikes, and Fiendsmith Desiree. Yeah. Follow YGO if you're watching. At some point in time, I wouldn't mind doing a box battle with you also. And, uh, part of the pack. Just waiting on your response for a box battle as well. Or, pack battle. Uh, but after today, I don't know if you want some of this. Uh, Dipsy Fiend. Fiendsmith Saint. Sleepy. Queen of Prayers. Magnetics Machinix. And some Ojama stuff.
Did we get a secret in this first pack on the left side as well? Alright, we got Puppet Play, Medulce Dessert, Sequence, Aerial Eater, nope, we got Spell Card Soul Exchange, Mini Meow Caroons, Nomenclature Strikes, Roostall, Bet and Bat, Lean Snapper, and Cicerus of the Sinful Spoils. Millennium Moon, Millennium Treasures, Tritron, Queen of Prayers, whoop, and a beautiful Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Man, I love me some dragons. That's actually one of the reasons why I was so attracted to the branded archetype. Because it was just dragons, 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 dragons. Um, was not around for Dragon Link, so I did not catch that first. Definitely like it, but I'm not nearly as much of a fan of like cyber and cyber stuff as I am. More mythical looking dragon types. And Paralyzing Mushroom. Matter Forwarder. Depressed Pard, Sleepy, and Mimigul Archfiend. Woes of the White Forest, Gendemore, Rusia, Kettle Scream. And Fantasix Machinix. Emblem of Salvation, Millennium, Thanked, Millennium Treasures, and Spell Card Monster Reborn. Uh, something probably everybody should be sticking in their decks at this point in time. And everybody's beloved Broomy out of this info set. Alright. You think we're getting an ultra or a secret out of here? Uh, let's, uh... Let's hope for a... Yeah, let's hope for a Mole Charmy. Uh, Puppet Play. Celine Snapper, White Forest, Bet and Bat. Oh, okay, all right, so we got another super. So the next one should be an Ultra or a Secret. Hopefully QCR. Celine Snapper, Mushroom, Queen of Prayers, Sleepy, Wow, okay. Creation King. Memento getting some support. Some um, quite a few packs without any rarities in it. Uh interdimensional matter forwarder, Millennium Treasures, Nomenclature Strikes, Bean Reflection of the Millennium. And here's the Ultra, Mimigool Dungeon. Alright, we'll take it, we'll take it. Fiendsmith Saints, Bat and Bat, Rusia, Medulce, and Varar. Belmonic in Concord. Two left, boys and girls. Is it a QCR and a secret? Well, no QCR. But we got Fiendsmith's Lacrima. Brewstall. 
sequence. Cattle scream. And Quibico. All right. So there should be one secret left. All right, we got Aerial Eater, Woes of the White Forest, Dipsy Fiend, Beansmith's Lacrima. All right. There it is. Mulcharmy Perulia. Billy Bobby. Billy Bobby is eating good today. I already have one Mulcharmy that I've got. I don't know if I'm going to sell the second one or keep it. But what a box. We got the engraver and the Perulia. Mm, mm, mm. Billy Bobby, Billy Bobby, Billy Bob. What, what an opening. You know, Billy Bob, I think I, you did a good job today. I think you might be sticking around for the next couple openings. But uh, beautiful cards, wonderful opening. No QCR, but if the next box gets here, hopefully we can pull a QCR. You know, maybe a Fiendsmith engraver. Come on, where is my camera? There we are. Let's see if we can pull a QCR Fiendsmith engraver on our next video. If the box gets here. Well, that was unexpected. Um, thank you, Tricks, for the Dark Magician and the Dragon Ball cards. Thank you, Fresh Off the Press, for the Billy Bob token. Uh, thank you to whichever uh, vendor I bought this box from for the beautiful secret rares. And thank you guys for watching. 